Once a year, the New Beginnings Youth Development Center hosts a family day for its young adolescents at the facility, giving them a chance to bond with their relatives, which plays a crucial part in their rehabilitation journey. At present, there are 18 boys and 13 girls at the center, and today we met with the new director, Khalifa John, who gave us more details on the work that they've been doing with the youths. Well, this is a New Beginnings Youth Development Center, and it's focused on um, different types of residents. We have children between the ages of 12 to 17 that are based on care orders beyond parental control. We also have minors who have done criminal offenses, minor criminal offenses, and we also have immigration. We are also serving as an immigration detention facility for unaccompanied minors. Um, and the last but not least, we also serve as a psychiatric facility for adolescents as well. So as you can see, many layers to the New Beginnings facility, but um, certainly one that helps to help the adolescent and the challenged youths in our society. Today we're having the family day, which is basically the culmination of the summer program. Um, we all know that family plays a vital role in the rehabilitation process, specifically working on the emotional and the physical well-being of our residents. So this is the end of the summer program and we're so happy to have the media here to celebrate it with us. I think it's a beautiful thing to have their family here today, um, certainly without, not without challenges. Um, we have a member of the team who also has his birthday today, one of our residents. We also have another member who just recently lost her dad yesterday. So there are several layers like I've mentioned, um, but it means a lot for family to be here and for persons to come out and show their talent. What they are saying from the corners of their rooms and so forth is that um, they want to be seen, they want to be heard. They want to be known for who they are. They want to express their individuality. And we try to come up with programs that help them to express this in a healthy way. And of course, making sure that at the end of the day, when they transgress out of these programs, that they would become a better person for it all, all in one. It may not be an easy route for some, but there are methods and forms of teaching that can make the transition easier, like art, for example. Brahida Haylock, who teaches art at the facility, says that using art as a form of healing has changed the lives of her students. So I'm the art teacher, but I teach art a little bit differently. I use it to help the kids empower themselves. So it's how to have them connect in a different way. It's not about how skilled they are, because art is subjective. Uh, and it's how to navigate life lessons using art to help them build different disciplines. So the first time that I taught here, it was about self-confidence. How as an artist, you can tap into that self-confidence and self-individualism. So this summer, it was all about helping them focus and build their patience, tap into that meditation. It, it was so nice that like I knew I accomplished my goal when my student told me, Miss, I feel like I'm floating to heaven. That means he's tapping into his safe space. So it was nice to see that. And then the kids do admit that they learned patience throughout the summer camp. So everything that I created for them was designed to slow them down. And with that, they could have focused more. They developed their patience. And, you know, they can forget that they're angry, <laughs> you know, or that they're stuck here. So it was a really nice time to watch them grow in that way. And aside from art, there is also music that also leaves a lasting impression on these youths. To understand music, we need to keep timing. So what we did was we did basic rudiments. Rudiments is just the beat, keeping the beat 2-4 timing, 3-4 timing, and 4-4 four, four timing. That's simple time signatures. And so the children got it. They did their best. We did percussion, which is all instruments that you shake, hit, or scrape. So we had the bass drum, the snare drum, the shaka, the shaky eggs, the rhythm sticks. And so they learned how to read rudiments off the chalkboard and play patterns. Then we sang. We enjoyed freestyle because there are so many rappers here. So. These guys are so talented. You know, well, I'm a musician, I'm a music teacher, and everything has to come from inside, from soul, right? And so I encourage them to aspire for their dreams. Every, every day we say um, our prayers in the morning, we pray for each other, we reinforce positive love 
and support to each other. And so each one of them wants to be something different. And we told them, hey, if you want to be this, you can't just expect it to come. There's certain things you have to put in place. And so we set it in place, everyone set their goals, and we're, we're all moving forward. They did great. We also got a chance to speak with two of the youths today, a 14-year-old boy and a 16-year-old girl, who shared with us what their experience at the center has been like so far. Well, I learn like the music class, also patience, how to do my art and thing. Most of all, the new beginnings helped me change from class. I'm a good person before. Well, my favorite part of the summer program is the painting because like, I like how you could paint something larger from like a small image and like you could imagine different things and make it useful in a life and it also teaches your patience. How has the family day been going for you guys? Um, what are some of the things you've been doing for the morning so far? Well, I do the um, welcome speech and most importantly to me, I spend time with my mom and there with the officers and so. Well, my sister there with me today and um, I do a dance and it's actually fun today. I like the activities where they play today. Joe Marie Lanza, 7 News.